12.7. We are almost there. These are permutations and combinations. So you got to remember the difference of each one of them. One of them, permutation, is when order matters. Combinations, order doesn't matter. So permutations is looking at the question. If it says the word, you have to put it in a row or you have to line it up or there's a first, second, and third place, that's a permutation. So remember, permutations are like lists in order. Um, line it up, first place, second place, so on, okay? That's when you order matters. And you say to yourself, how many things do you get to do? And you put that many lines down. How many choices do you have for the first one? How many choices for the second and the third? And then you just multiply. A combination is when order doesn't matter. Okay, and when the order doesn't matter, it's just going to say to you, choose, like choose three shirts or choose two flowers. If it says choose two flowers, then line them up, that's different. But if it's just saying just choose something, then that's a combination. And remember, that is going to be a permutation divided by the number of choices factorial. Okay, so don't forget about that. So let's start with um, question number one. Question number one reads, let me get to the correct page. How many ways can you make a sandwich by choosing four of 10 ingredients? I'm not lining the sandwich up. I'm not, it doesn't matter how I put the meat on it. So I'm just choosing it. And because I'm choosing it, it becomes a combination. And the combination becomes, remember, how many ingredients do I have and how many can I put on the sandwich, okay? It will always be the larger number followed by the smaller number, okay? The small number, this one tells you the number of lines you can make, okay? So I'm gonna make one, two, three, four lines. I get 10 choices for the first then we assume you're not gonna pick ham again. So now you only have nine choices. Then we're gonna assume you're not gonna repeat this. So now you have only eight choices and then you have seven choices. Now you're not done because it's a combination. Remember then we're gonna divide it by four factorial, okay? So don't, remember, don't forget that part of it. So you're gonna go 10 times nine times eight times seven. So 10 times nine times eight times seven divided by four times three times two times one. That Remember that's factorial, like that. So on your calculator, you may or may not have a factorial button. It really just depends on your calculator. On our calculator, we do under the math key right here, you got that math key, you hit math key, and you're gonna arrow over to PRB, which is probability. And under PRB, it has your factorial button, which is number four, okay? So if I go back and I hit four, math key, down over to probability, and then down to number four, enter, it'll do the factorial for me. I hit enter and I have 24, so, this will be 24. And then on the top, I have 10 times nine times eight times seven, which is 5,040 divided by that four factorial will be 210 is my combination. Okay, so again, it's easy to follow. Remember, it's always the big number followed by the small number. The small number tells you how many lines one, two, three, four. The big number is what you start at. You have 10 choices. Now you have nine, now you have eight, now you have seven. And then you have to remember to divide by the small number factorial because that gets rid of your doubles, okay? And then we're gonna move on to question number two. It says, how many ways can 11 photographs be arranged? 
The key word here is arranged. Arranged means it's a permutation. Okay, so that means I'm gonna do a permutation of 11 photographs and you're arranging 11, all 11 of them. So it looks like that. So really all this is is a factorial because it tells you this is the number of lines and this is what you get to start at. So it's gonna go 11 times 10 times nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. And not division, no division in a permutation because you're not trying to get rid of the doubles. So really you're just doing 11 factorial. So you're gonna go 11, first in your calculator, math, probability, down to number four. You could hit the number four and it would take you right down to that. And there you go. So we have 39,916,800 different ways to arrange 11 photographs. Who'd have known? Sorry, that's a permutation. So here is your answer, okay? Then I'm gonna go on to number three. How many ways can you buy two software titles from a choice of 12? Well, you're just choosing something. You're not arranging it or sorting it or organizing or lining it up. So a combination. Number four says nine player batting order because you have to batting order matters who bats first and then once the first person bats the first person is out of the way then you have the second person so that's an order and it becomes a permutation all right well good luck on that i know that this is going to be tricky and we'll spend some time going over each one of the questions um, make sure you definitely check your answers and some of the mistakes i generally see is forgetting when it's a combination to forget to divide by the number factorial. Don't just divide by four, okay? And other mistakes is that permutation, sometimes you divide it and you forget that you're not supposed to divide permutations. Good luck.